Well, we first built uh, Never Was Hall, which is unfortunately packed up for the season right now. Uh, and it's a three-story house on wheels. And even though we realized there was no way we would be able to uh, build a steam engine capable of uh, powering the hall, uh, so what we did was we built uh, the runabout. And we basically wanted to train ourselves in steam technology because we were basically we're embracing this whole um, genre of Victorian fantasy, Victorian uh, explore, Victorian explorers, and we wanted to have a uh, we wanted to have a steam powered vehicle, but we knew we couldn't have it with the hull, so we we basically compromised and built built the runabout, and we knew nothing. We knew absolutely nothing. We got all these old manuals. Uh, we, we poured through stacks. We went, went through the internet and tried to find every type of steam engine, stuff like that. We tried to actually simply just buy a steam engine off the internet. It was more than we could afford. Uh, so instead, this engine here was actually a $5 air compressor at a garage sale. This is a, probably a 75 to 80 year old air compressor. Uh, it would, first off, you would never have um, uh, you would never have cooling coil, cooling fins on a steam engine. That's no. You want to heat a steam engine and keep it hot. No, the hall eventually will have a steam engine, but at this point, we're still scaling up. I mean, this is the project right now. This is uh, my wood stove, my house. You do is you cast high temp concrete not even over it. If you uh, look in the back, you can still see the tubes that haven't been covered with concrete yet. Okay. You don't realize, okay, I mean, that. You know, so it does, it heats the water, run. much like it does in here. There's uh, copper tubes running all around the inside. You can just see like the pipe here, and it goes around, it comes out. It comes out here, they join in, and there's a whole nother, um, underneath this lagging, there's a whole nother layer of copper tubes inside this high temp concrete, and then there's a panel. If you look up in there, you can see like a plate, and there's a hole where the flames are going up. That hole is a concrete tube. Uh, with embedded copper and so the flame goes up that tube comes back down the outside of it and then goes up the chimney So it, it actually goes about like uh, five six feet before it actually comes out You can kind of tell how if it's efficient or not by how hot the exhaust is I call him uh, two can better than one <laughs> And he opens open simply opens and closes his mouth and flaps his wings and uh, He was just a test, you know, just playing around with this idea. Then I also was working on a, uh, a, a system where we actually, instead of running off of steam, we're actually running off of the pressure of a um, propane. propane. And then the exhaust is then burned off. So this would actually make a very neat dragon where the mouth open up and flame would come out. Oh, so you can each show time. this book. This is the book that everybody really wants to do in steam <laughs> This book, it hasn't been in print since the 50s. Very cool. It is like every single weird mechanical linkage <clears throat> you could possibly imagine that you'd want to do. Wow. And it's, it's like how to get all these bizarre emotions. And it's just like a gold mine of just weird illustrations. This is a thing that spelled steam. <laughs> Very successfully, this ancient stuff is out there. So much of this stuff is basically was built originally for steam technology, and then it's been applied to some other. Uh... And so, just running steam through it, you get like this, like it's like as if the machine gets like, oh, I remember what I used to do. You know, this, which is made for steam, but does not work. Yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, that, that was a dismal failure. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hot dog demonstration. Uh, my hands are very clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, weenie steaming. Gonna get sterilized anyway. Uh, autoclave, I'm gonna autoclave the hot dog. <laughs> Perfect timing, Kimrick. I'm a little hungry right now. There you go.
Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, there's your hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is all dirty. It's too hot. I gotta let it cool down. <laughs> Anybody else want one? I have mine already. <laughs> hey, Will, you want a hot dog? <laughs> nah, I think so. <laughs> Thanks, uh, all right. No, that's fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so I suppose that I suppose great about Birdie Bud is you get to to create all the cliche fantasy <laughs> things that no one you know that simply does not exist in reality. Okay.